All right, so the new Roxy is here, Roxy of Madness, and today we're going to be summoning for her. Now, is she actually worth summoning on? Is the unit herself good enough to warrant you going potentially 600 gems together? It is a 3% rate banner with a 0.5% rate up. It's just a standard rate up, but honestly, the banner itself, while it does have a lot of like filler unit, the catastrophe units, old catastrophe units are completely trash. It does also have some new units, like it has a brand new mono, it has Freya. If you missed out on Valenti, for example, you can also get her here. You can get Thonar if you don't have her or dupes for Thonar. Dupes of Freya, awesome. Dupes of Freya, also awesome. Of course, like Mono as well, because she has a secret technique ultimate. So dupes of any of those units isn't bad. And the other units are, of course, you know, complete bait, complete trash. Though, if you're summoning on this for Freya specifically, know that she's probably gonna be on like the anniversary banner and banners like that in the future. And you don't really need to try to get her at a 0.1667% rate on like standard banners. Uh, on standard banners, you should just look at the unit. And the unit herself is actually quite interesting. So she is a human buffer. Well, she gains crit chance by 40% for each human ally on the battlefield. So up to 120%. I do believe she is counted as well. And she also makes that if a critical strike occurs from human ally single target attacks, she's gonna inflict some additional damage at the end of the attack sequence. Pretty much like Eskinor's finger poke deals a little bit of extra damage at the end. She's gonna deal 300% of her own attack as additional damage. And that is, no matter like what human ally actually attacks, that extra damage is going to be applied, which is quite nice actually. Now she also has a grace, or I guess they're calling it a unity. So a unity of madness, where if she is a link on a unit, she's gonna increase that unit's attack related stats by 3% up to 10% at 6-6. Now this is a really bad thing. They've introduced, I really don't like this, where they keep giving like uh, these whale friendly things just to get like whales to summon on it, just to get people to waste their gems on, on these dupes. I don't think this is good enough to actually sort of warrant you running over something like maybe Sariel Grace. I don't know if this is gonna deal more damage than a Sariel Grace. With this mean, I mean, this at 6-6, six, six, meaning 10% attack related stats, is that better than Sariel Grace? I don't know, you know, honestly, I don't know. But it's kind of nice, she does have a Flood card, and this is the Singatory card. It hits quite hard from what I've seen. She also has an AoE Spy card, though two times um, crit damage increase. And she also has a Sever ultimate for some reason, even though she has like so much crit chance on her own. as well from a passive you know so i mean she does look kind of nice i am gonna summon for her i do feel like she is like one of those units that maybe she will be good in the future if you would like want to try to get her i'm gonna ssr very first multi here but like is she gonna be good for like when the the collab comes out with like the um, all right we got another one all right this is really cool <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. All right, I mean, I take dupes of her. I already have prayer 6-6. Six, six. But yeah, like, everyone's talking about the next collab perhaps being a rerun of the uh, Attack on Titan collab. And of course, Attack on Titan collab does have a lot of human units. Almost the consensus or like what people believe the uh, JP 4th anniversary unit is going to be is sort of... What's his face? Um... Sacred Treasure Ban. So he is also going to be a human unit. So she most definitely can buff a bunch of human units. And me personally, I believe like we're going to get Chaos Arthur maybe around New Year's. That's also going to be another great unit that's going to benefit greatly from you actually having this Roxy. So try to get her like if you can. Um, it is 600 gems. That is a lot, especially considering next month we're probably going to get a collab. The month after that, we have the JP 4th anniversary on a collab, especially a collab that I've missed out on because I didn't play back then. I'm going to have to like pull six units on that banner and at least 1200 gems I need to spend on that banner. And then on the JP 4th anniversary, that's another 900 gems. So, I mean, that's a lot of gems in a span of two months, uh, especially considering like I'm, I'm also going to summon on all the other units as well. So, yeah, but those two, like if you're in, in my seat where you didn't actually summon for the um, Attack on Titan collab the first time it was around. Oh my god, all the monos. <laughs> like, I'll take dupes of her. She has a really good ultimate, but I kind of want Roxy. I want dupes of her so that her uh, unity um, actually becomes a little bit better. And my, I mean, the SSR lock has been kind of nice to me here. Oh, and by the way, like, I've been super, super sick for, for way over like a week. Did I say six? I've been super sick for way over a week and uh, I haven't really been able to like make videos and stuff like that. Oh, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, for some reason I got fooled because it's a blue Roxy, but it's the summer one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll just keep, keep going here. 
But like, I've been super tired, hardly been able to sleep. And just suffering from like fevers and stuff like that. It's, it's just been just been a terrible time, honestly. And yeah, I mean, it's COVID, so I had to just stay home, quarantine in my, you know, part of the apartment, not try to get others sick. And uh, yeah, I mean, I did end up getting my brother sick and my mother as well for some reason because I didn't know it was COVID at the beginning. And yeah, they sort of caught it, which was unfortunate. Uh, but you know, it's things that happened. So I cut it off work and yeah, for the last couple of days I've been uh, calling off work because the entirety of last week I haven't really, I'm not scheduled to work anyway. So that didn't matter because the week before that I worked like 70 hours. So I do have like one week off and then I work for two weeks. But yeah, oh my God, these last few, few multis have been trash. <laughs> Alright, so we got three more multis. Can I get a 2-6? I don't think so. Like, even even with the SSR luck, she's a 0.5% rate and we just put some other units instead. Kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. These things usually uh, happen to me on these very, very trash banners, but... Alright, at least we got a 2-6. At, at least we got a 2-6. That's very good. I'm happy about that. So, yeah. Let's see here. Final multi. It's nothing. Alright. And we take the Panel Roxy here. I'm also gonna get like one free multi in however long it is. Gonna be like one entire week left once we actually get like one of these every day. Stupid. But at least we got a 2 6 Roxy. We got some more like goodies. I'm just gonna go ahead and feed the dupe here. It's gonna have a effect on her unity. So one additional percentage there. I mean, on her own. That's kind of nice, but because it's going to increase her own, you know, attack related stats. And then you can like slap Sorry Grace on her. Like, and those two things are going to work uh, in, in like unison. But yeah, that's her. I'm going to buy her cosmetics and test her out and stuff like that. So do stay tuned for that. But with that, yeah, I think that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And yeah, I guess I catch you next one. Bye.